Hey, we've got more screws and nuts on the bottom of this uh, wooden frame part, the bottom of the cab. Go ahead and zoom in there so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so these ones are being stubborn. I'm going to center punch the middle of them and just drill them out, see if that works. Looks like that one went all the way through, and on to the next one. There we go. There's bolts that go through the wood. I'm not sure how far through but there's nuts on the very end and they're coming right off so there's like four of them one there and one there one over there somewhere right there three or four coming off real easy these bolts must go all the way through the wood and I'm gonna just cut them with the new wood I will probably just use lag bolts um, and it'll hold on just fine, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. So we got this piece loose. And uh, now we need to get this skin loose from, the, from this uh, wood piece on the front side of the door. <clears throat> there we go and so on and so forth you get the idea I'm gonna do all the way up around and replace all this wood so get back to you when I get all these nails out okay I got all those nails undone for the skin now it's time to go underneath and get all these ones I've already got some of them but all along the bottom here of this main beam you can see it's getting really close to coming out. So it's all loose. <clears throat> That's all loose right there. Uh, I believe the only thing left to get these all the way loose is to get those nails out there and there. One thing I noticed as I started prying on the wood to try and get it out is the uh, cowl started separating from the body of the tub. So what I'm going to do is get some wire and connect those two back together. The only thing holding it together right now is this weld or bodywork, whatever this is here. So instead of bending that or breaking it, just put some wire there to keep it together while I work on this wood. Okay, so I got the wood out. This main beam here that goes all the way down. Uh, I found a little bit of rust behind it, so I went ahead and ground it down with this silicon carbide wheel on a drill. Um, now I need to just clean it, uh, blow it off, clean it, and then start priming it. I'm going to use uh, zero rust. Alright, here we go. I'm just using a wax and grease remover, just a standard uh, wax and grease remover from the paint store. Gets it ready, gets any oils or whatever. Helps clean off the dirt and dust as well. 
so you're ready to prime. All right, here we go. Time to prime. This is zero rust. It uh, goes on thick. You can spray it. You can brush it. And it's supposed to prevent rust, so I think it's going to do a great job. And I'm brushing it be only because it's somewhere where no one's ever going to see it. Time to start putting the wood back in. I've got the uh, front piece of wood already in. It's kind of mock I'm just mocking it up right now, see if everything will go in smoothly. Cross your fingers. Next I'm going to work on this back piece for the uh, back side of the door. See if I can get that in. It's just kind of wedging and nudging and bending the metal out of the way and then hammering it back into place. That's what you gotta do to put it all back together. Okay, so I got most of this side done. That's fit up into there. This is an old piece that doesn't have anything wrong with it really. It just looks kinda old. This main bottom piece I just slid right in after these two side pieces were in. This, however, I had to chisel a little bit of wood off of some of these edges. One on this edge here, and then some up here, I believe. And then I just hit it into place with a hammer, and I still need to wrap the metal around it, but I can't do that until I have this piece in. So I'll put that piece in next. And screw it all together. It's starting to come together. This side is pretty much done with all the nailing and Stuff. I'm gonna have to weld in a little piece of metal right there because that fell out as I was taking it apart. I'm gonna have to probably weld that together, back together. Do a little bit of welding and hopefully the wood doesn't burn too much. I'll use some air to keep it from getting too hot. I screwed all those in. And I used clamps to hold the metal really close to the wood. I still need to screw in some of these here, but... One thing, do not forget. Go ahead and put this plate on before you install this wood. Um, do not forget your T-nut on the other side. So it has spikes in it, grabs into the wood, and you can thread your this screw right here. Thread your screw right into it on the, from the other side. That pulls the plate tight. So you're using all the wood as a sandwich instead of just screwing in part way through the wood. That's for your striker on the driver's side. So remember to do that on both sides before you get it all screwed into place because, and nailed into place because it's a pain in the butt to get it back out. I clamped this together before I screwed it in because it didn't want to sit up against the metal like the other side was, or like it originally was. So. Uh, I screwed this to that, and screwed that to that. And the next piece, <clears throat> well, I'll probably have to end up doing the other side first. These are the brackets that go on each side. <clears throat> I put a piece of cloth there and I glued it on because it rubs on the metal. So you don't want it to squeak. This is going to bolted those onto the wood there with the original bolts. That goes there. You can see 
little bolt there that I put through. I'm going to use that to hold this in place once I, once I nail it together. And it's kind of like a sandwich. There's going to be another layer of wood on the outside of the metal. It's just going to sandwich the metal all the way around. All the way around. So, now onto this side. Look at that rotten wood. That's almost completely missing right there. Thought I'd do a quick update on my progress. I got the passenger side all buttoned up. And I even fitted the door and took it back off. But there's the latch, the old latch, and um, I got a new latch for the other side because one of them was pretty booted up on this catch part here, this sharp edge that catches the door latch. This is the stri striker, sorry. Anyways, um, so I got it all buttoned up. I had to do a lot of welding and grinding here and some hole drilling through the wood and you can see the holes there. Don't forget this one right here, that's the, uh, the door check. It keeps your door from swinging all the way open. Anyways, so before I drilled holes, I got this cross member back in. So I drilled all the way across from door to door. This is just one side of it. And it goes. And there's the drive shaft tunnel on the other side of it right there. Anyways, I fitted it back in right here, all the way over to here. Uh, made sure all the holes lined up for the uh, rivets that I'm going to put in. Once I knew that was all lined up, I um, used C-clamps to hold it in place and then drilled, drilled holes. And made it look like I wanted it. And then it's not perfect yet, but that's bodywork and a little bit more metal work. Anyways, so the door fits. And then I went on to this side, started putting the wood together on the driver's side. Um, got a few more screws over here. I've got to nail the skin on all the way around. Not making progress. So, I think that's all I have to say about that. Uh, after I get the driver's side done, I'm going to fit the driver's side door. Once that's all fit, I'll refit the passenger door and make sure they're both working fine with the cross number, and then move on to the wood in the back. I wanted to get this all stable before I moved on, because it was pretty flimsy without all the wood here. So, get the front stable, and then move to the back, and get all this wood replaced in the back.